Hi, Gemini. It's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you, or it may not. Just depends. Uh, it just depends. If it resonates with you, that's awesome, because that means the cards are speaking directly to you today. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. Just know that it absolutely will resonate with somebody. Although I highly recommend that you check the other signs in your astrological chart because your sun sign, which today is Gemini, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel about that information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you spit that information back out into your world. Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. So if you don't know those, there's a link in the box below. You can go to that website and for free, you can find out what your astrological chart is. Um, find out what your other signs are and cross-watch those signs as well because you'll be amazed at the synchronicities and um, the way that the other readings complement um, the other signs in your chart. All right. I want to say a huge thank you to all all of my YouTube subscribers. You guys amaze me. You have just blown up my inbox with personal readings and I just enjoy it. You have made me so happy. You have made me a happy woman. I really, really enjoy reading for you guys uh, the, to help you through a sticky spot in your life fills me with joy that I just can't even express. So thank you so much. That being said, 40 bucks will hook you up with a reading just for you, just for your situation. At TaurusStar.com, you can order it, schedule it, and whatever time and day you choose, I will show up, the cards will show out, and we will do a reading just for you, just for your situation. All right, let's get started. You enter this reading with the card of judgment, okay? Judgment is about making a decision, but it's not just making the decision, it's actually executing the decision because we can think about something in our head forever. We can roll it around in our head, contemplating and contemplating and contemplating, but until we actually execute it, until we actually implement it in our life, it's meaningless. This judgment card is about you executing a decision in your life. This decision changes the trajectory of your life and it creates a rebirth about how you are going to act from this point forward, right? This decision that you are actually executing in your life has everything to do with planning for your future. This Prince of Pentacles right here, and I'm using the Tarot Illuminati, by the way. It's a brand new deck for me, and I absolutely love it. So this Prince of Pentacles right here, he's the same as the Knight of Pentacles, okay? And the Knights are action cards, right? Action, action, action. Whatever they're, whatever they're doing requires action. This Prince of, of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles, he's a little bit different. His job is to survey the kingdom. He goes slow and easy around the perimeter of the land. He makes sure that the crops are growing, that the workers are doing their job, that everybody has the tools that they need. He is surveying the kingdom, right? And that's what you did. You surveyed your life and the surveillance of your life required you to make this judgment decision right here. So it's a dual purpose, right? The surveying of your life required you to make this judgment decision, execute this decision, and the execution of this decision is going to allow you to plan for your future. This, my friend, makes you ecstatically excited with the Princess of Wands. She's the Page of Wands, right? Ecstatically excited. This is a card about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, free spirits, right? She, she is just, you are so excited that you have actually decided to execute this decision in your life. And this execution of the decision, the planning for your future, you can see the Ten of Cups on the horizon. You can see harmony in your life, happiness, values alignment, right? You can see all of this just waiting for you on the horizon. 
this next row we have you contemplating and reevaluating everything. What you're contemplating right here is how you feel about somebody with the Princess of Cups. You are contemplating your feels for somebody and you are going to you're going to you're going to express it. You're going to tell somebody about your feelings. However, what are you going to tell somebody? What you're going to tell somebody is that you are absolutely moving on from feelings of loss and regret, disappointment and despair in this relationship. You are leaving you are leaving, you are moving on from this relationship. You are breaking up with somebody, right? You are moving on from loss, regret, disappointment, and despair in your life. That's what this decision right here is. That's why you're surveying the landscape to see what your life could be like without this person in it, right? And it makes you feel good. The thought of this person not being in your life makes you feel good. You're going to tell them with this Prince of Swords right here, you're going to tell them that you're moving on. You're absolutely moving on. The Ace of Swords comes in and confirms it. The Ace of Swords says that you have mental power, mental victory, a mental breakthrough, and mental clarity about how you are going to execute this decision in your life to move on from somebody that gives you nothing but, but painful feelings. How do we know that? because the world card comes in. This is a card of completion, integration, and accomplishment, including travel, right? So this card says that you are integrating all of these feelings, all of this decision-making process right here. You're integrating it because there's a completion. One life cycle is ending and a new life cycle is beginning for you. This world card also talks about an accomplishment, an achievement in the situation, a personal accomplishment because you are going to execute this decision in your life. It also talks about travel. You could be traveling, like for real traveling, or it could be talking about you taking the next steps in this new cycle of your life because one life cycle is ending. You're walking away from the pain and a new life cycle is beginning for you. This Queen of Wands right here is you being absolutely determined. I know you're an air energy. I know you're Gemini. But if you have any fire in your soul in any way whatsoever, you are taking on the properties of a fire energy, right? Fire in your soul. This is you as the Queen of Wands being absolutely freaking determined to regain control of power to regain control, power, and authority in your life in regards to a love relationship. And the Prince of Wands, the Prince of Wands comes in. This is the, this is the Knight of Wands, right? He comes in and he says that you have passion and energy and you are action-oriented to, to implement this decision in your life. What comes next is the five of wands. Somebody doesn't like what you have to say right here. This five of wands is about disagreements, strife, tension, conflict. They're not happy with what you said. Crossed by the five of swords, they're really not happy with what you had to say, right? This is conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, mind games. They really, really, really don't like what you had to say. Conflict conflict. The wheel comes in though. The wheel comes in and says, my friend Gemini, you are on the course of good luck, karma, life cycles ending, life cycles beginning for you, a turning point in your destiny. Letting go of this, this shit right here, letting go of, 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 Loss and regret and disappointment and despair sets you free. It sets you free and it's a turning point in your destiny. And you know what? You really don't give a shit if they like it or not because you're doing what you need to do for you. And you are traveling into, this is a card of travel as well. You are traveling into a new cycle of your life. 
just want to point out two travel cards so far. So, you know, take it for what it is. You're traveling into the next cycle of your life. One cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. What's ending? What's ending is a relationship. What's beginning is your life, Gem, your life. Sorry about that. Um, your life, right? This is a card of regretful but necessary transition. Sure, it's regretful because, you know, you, you, you had to break somebody's heart and they're not real happy about it at all, right? You had to let somebody down. You had to cut somebody loose in order to, to, to obtain what you want to manifest in your life. But you are transitioning. You absolutely are transitioning. This card is a card of a rite of passage too, right? Because you've ended this karmic relationship, whatever this was, you've learned what you need to learn and you're ready to move on to the next cycle of your life. And this is you doing that with the Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles comes in and says there's a culmination. There's a culmination to the, situ to the situation and there is a sense of self-sufficiency, an absolute sense of self-sufficiency. Covering that is rest and recuperation with the six of wands being um, victory, progress, and self-confidence. No more broken heart. No more broken heart. The two of wands planning for your future, making progress, making decisions, planning for your future, choosing what path you're going to go down. That path that you're choosing right here without this person is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to bring you a golden opportunity to bloom into who it is that you really are, Gemini. Because I tell you what, when you're surrounded by that Five of Cups right there, when you're surrounded by loss, regret, disappointment, and despair in your life, that, 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 Man, that's a rough energy to spend any amount of time in. That is the complete opposite of the Ten of Pentacles. But now that you've loosed yourself from this, from this, this downer, this Debbie downer of a relationship, you're feeling free. You're feeling good. You're feeling, you're feeling on top of the world and you are in your power. This Ten of Cups clarifies it, reiterates it that you are on the right track. You are on the right track to, to manifest a golden opportunity in your life, a golden opportunity. This King of Swords comes in and says that you have absolutely positively dropped the sword, right up here. You have absolutely positively dropped this sword. This guy is, he's a clear thinker. He is intellectual. He's powerful in his truth and his authority, his personal authority, right? You're cutting all of this bullshit loose and you are living for you and you are doing what you need to do for you. What clarifies this is the Eight of Pentacles. You are doing for you. You are deciding what it is that you're going to engage with. You are deciding who it is that you're going to engage with in order to, to, to work on it. And this is also a card about gaining mastery, Gemini. I think that you're gaining mastery over yourself. You're gaining mastery over this situation. You're gaining the courage and the ability to walk away from, from these, this Five of Cups right here. You, you're going to walk away from all of that and you're gaining strength and you're gaining mastery of yourself, my friend. Justice comes in. You can only have justice when there's been an injustice, right? You can only have justice when there's been an injustice. And this is karmic justice coming into your life because they know the burden that you have bared is heavy. And it's been a long journey. But there's accomplishment at the end of that. And the accomplishment is being true to yourself. Because if you can't be true to yourself, you can't be true to 
anybody. You're being true to yourself. And this is bringing you the three of cups. This is bringing you celebration and friendship, creativity and community. It's bringing you a sense of emotional balance and control, emotional security, calm, cool, collected, knowing that you know that you know that this was the right decision for you. Absolutely positively, Gemini. Absolutely positively. You are moving on and you are not taking any baggage with you. Tarot, is there anything else that we can throw out there for Gemini? Throw out there for Gemini that, um, that uh, maybe some closing comments, some parting words, some advice, anything that you can say to Gemini, Tarot, Spirit. This was a, a quick and fast reading. And I really want to leave gems with, um, with, with some closure here, okay? With some closure. Starting from the top of this reading right up here, you're making a very serious decision. Very serious decision. And, and this decision has everything to do with planning for your future. You are super excited about, about the decisions that you're making in your life super excited and and you know that breaking free from all of this is going to bring you harmony and values alignment in your life right values alignment in your life you're walking away from disappointment you're contemplating about how you feel contemplating and reevaluating about how you feel about somebody and you're going to you're going to speak not only are you going to speak but this is action oriented communication so this this contemplation that you've done here about your feelings for somebody requires action from you what's the action sorry what's the action you're walking away that's the action you're walking away from disappointment and loss and regret and despair in your life absolute mental clarity the world's card comes in and says that um that this is a completion an accomplishment an integration of a life cycle one life cycle is ending a new life cycle is beginning super super determined to bring control authority and establishment back in your life in regards to a love relationship prince of wands comes in and says that you are executing you are you're moving on. You're moving. You're moving on. The Five of Wands says they don't like it. Five of Swords says they really don't like it. Wheel of Fortune says you don't care because you're completing a karmic life cycle and beginning a brand new life cycle. And that brand new life cycle does not include this love relationship. The Six of Swords says you are transitioning, a regretful but necessary transition, a rite of passage into the next phase of your life, a culmination to the situation, feelings of self-sufficiency, resting and recuperating, celebration, um, celebration, uh, victory, progress, self-confidence, leaving that broken heart in the past and moving on to plan your future, a future that contains the Ten of Pentacles, right? A future that is absolutely all about success. King of Swords comes in and says, you dropped that sword, you made that decision, you cut it out of your life, and now you are moving forward to gain mastery of yourself, to gain mastery of your life, right? Justice comes in, karmic justice says, because you have realized that this was a karmic cycle and you're putting, you learned what you learned, you put it down and you're moving forward into the next phases of your life. This is karmic justice, cause and effect. What's the cause? You learning. What's the effect? The Ten of Pentacles, right? And celebration and victory. The burden has been heavy. The struggle has been real. But in the end, you have victory, you have celebration, friendship, community, right? It's, it's, it's all about finding yourself right here in this card. It's about finding yourself. The King of Cups comes in and says that you have emotional balance and control, emotional security, calm, cool, collected, and you know that you know that you know that this is where you're supposed to be. Right on. That is your reading, Gemini. I sure do hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything I can do for you, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. And namaste, my friends.